Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Token here. Welcome to the beginning of new Let's Play Europa Universalis series. As you can probably guess from the country chosen and from the title of the video, we are going to do the Rare Conquista achievement, as it has won the Twitter poll on what achievement should I tackle next after Mare Nostrum with Florence. We are of course going to play on hard difficulty, since it's the achievement we're going to go Iron Man. And this achievement relies on, uh, is based on the fact that you have to uh, recreate uh, Al-Andalus, uh, the Emirate of Andalusia, and then conquer entire Iberia. Uh, so, uh, of course, it's Cradle of Civilization, the beautiful uh, Middle Eastern border go can be seen here. Uh, let's begin without further ado. Uh, this is a relatively difficult achievement, and its difficulty stems from uh, its beginning and uh, you will see why in just a moment and uh, actually it doesn't really require much explanation i think our position is uh, there's nothing really interesting here i'll mention it anyway so our position is in the south of spain our enemy is castile they hate us and they will like to kill us uh, the good part is they have a shitty king and a shitty heir and let's hope this guy doesn't die <laughs> okay uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the important things first. So we have three rivals at this stage, which is bad. We have a friend, which we are going to ally. Moroccans are great allies. Actually, I think they do they yeah yeah they are great allies. They are very useful. Uh, additionally, uh, yeah, Aragon dislikes Castile, and unluckily for us, uh, France does not dislike Castile. So yeah, uh, additionally we are disliked by the Portuguese. So let's make Portuguese, Portugal our rival and Tlamencan. Uh, of course we're not going to make Tunisia our rival, we are too weak for that. Uh, but, but this is a great uh, mission. Let's... Uh, I think I offered the alliance already, so uh, I'm going to get an alliance, uh, which is so nice because uh, Moroccans are such useful people. They have... Uh, they, they are like the only a state in this area that has like a, a reasonable army and additionally they have a gold mine so good for them they are awesome uh, uh unlike moroccans we are not awesome we have a holy hell we have such a bad leader 110 actually bold fighter is nice Sina is not so nice uh but it could be much much worse than that uh this this guy will actually be useful i think we are going to invest heavily in military. We're going to reduce military spending up to nothing. Since the Tlamanqui and the Tunisians don't like us, we have to hunt for pirates in Seville and trade mode. So that they don't loot our coastline. All of our state is coastline, so... Uh, that would be pretty bad having devastation in our entire country. Uh... Okay, so things, things. First things almost done. Now, we have uh, the ability to call uh, Grant a general. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! This is Christmas come true. A six shock general! Oh, wow! Uh, thank you, game. Oh, this means that this, this might actually be the run where we succeed. Uh, as you can see, it's a little RNG, but you need that RNG on your side uh, when you start with a three province minor uh, in mountains surrounded by powerful enemies uh, with Castilians having like 22,000 troops. The allies, the Portuguese, will have like 12,000 at least. So yeah, uh, six drop general will be really, really useful uh, in a moment. So we are going to get uh, 150 points, uh, 10 gold from the burghers. Or merchant guilds as we should call it we are in arabia excuse me islam now there are no burgers only merchant guilds so yeah christmas came earlier we have an amazing general let's use that well now and uh regarding that which we saw earlier this is uh, ikta the government we have uh -huh. okay so these are taxation policies we can enact uh, in uh, ikta government type this increases tax and gives you flat money if you have a subject 
this gives you uh, core creation cost and manpower. And this gives you diplo rep and liberty design subject reduction. Now well, this guy looks extremely like uh, shifty. Just look at him, right? Uh, purse, sleazy smile. Yeah, we're getting efficient tax farming, and we will be investing in cavalry, I think. And uh, let's increase the speed just a tiny little bit. Uh, let's see if the Tunisians keep uh, disliking us. I'd like to have them as buddies, but you know, you never really know. So this is good. Uh, okay, let's get more cavalry. Uh, we will certainly need it. Now, this is nice. This is something we can complete actually and I think yeah we have actually done it again we have gotten uh, two mission completions so that's that's nice uh, that's nice we have a little more prestige now and I think we're going to take this mission uh, to fight Spain um, no, nothing else really comes to mind which we could get done right now easily. Uh, this third trace is nice. I like the fact that the guy is calm. Should be helpful uh, seeing how things look. I just hope he gets a decent air as well. And that we get this nice guy from fortifications which will allow us to get tech, tech a little faster. You know, we kind of need that tech high. And yeah, uh, good to have military access, uh, those sweet, sweet cavalry troops. Uh, yeah, could you? Uh, would you, please? Oh, interesting. Oh, wow, the Polish have a 666. Well, I don't know whether uh, 666 is a decent reward for losing... Uh, personal union with Lithuania, but I'm no expert, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, mm, uh, it would be nice to get Tunisia as an ally, but I'm not sure, really, don't really think it's that possible right now. Oh damn it! Uh, it would be nice to nice to invade Tlamankan, right? Uh, but getting into a war with Tlamankan and Tunisia might be a little too much for us to handle right now, considering the fact we're going to have an inevitable conflict with the Spanish. And ah, uh, damn it! We lost the nice fort guy. I actually mean this guy is would be really nice because it will allow me to hold Granada for ages and the Spanish wouldn't be able to stop us. Okay, the French are at war with uh, the English. Kinda self-explanatory. Uh, not too good, really. Uh, Fazan and Tunis. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, really don't, I don't know really. Uh, the Tunisians are strong. Getting into this conflict might be worth it, but at the same time, well, uh, our truce with Castile is getting close to being over, and the moment it's over, we'll have a. Uh, crazy war on our hands against an enemy that would like nothing more but annihilate us than to annihilate us excuse me so uh, yeah uh, not too comfortable actually I was thinking about developing uh, my province just a little tiny bit uh, yeah it's actually worth it mm. Now, this isn't good, uh, the fact that Tunisians and the Fizani are willing to fight against us and the Moroccans. Uh, such uh, a war would certainly weaken the state uh, greatly. Actually, I need money so desperately that I want to take eight ducats over ten prestige. I know how it sounds. 
and it sounds just as bad as it seems but uh, I really need it I, I really need that uh, damn prestige uh, excuse me damn money uh, interesting Castile has declared war on Flamenco uh, to fight uh, to fight them now I could get uh, Morocco into this war and yeah we will wait uh, this, this is this is interesting uh, the fact that the Castilians have declared war on Flamencan and Tunisia is in fact really really interesting uh, now this is one of those events that decides whether you go mystic or legal and uh, okay dervishes I think I'm going towards mysticism because I like fort defense morale of armies missionary strength we'll have a lot of Christians to convert so, convert, so uh, yeah I suppose that's that right okay I don't like this and I can't really do anything about it I can't afford it and uh, excuse me the way I see it is that the Spanish are in uh, in here in in Africa so the way the way I see it if I attack them additionally with Morocco I, I could right I could get it done I could conquer them <laughs> that's a difficult thing to decide now uh, we really like those uh, sweet sweet claims and I'm not sure whether we'll be able to make it but we'll certainly try right All right uh, yeah sure I don't mind about Flanders there's uh, no problem with that uh, really I wonder how, how is this war going really uh, could you boys swim over to Barbary coast and check out if the Spanish are there it doesn't seem as if they were there so okay uh, it's a decent York and uh, it's a good heir. That's the kind of an heir we'd be satisfied with. I mean, uh, he's 12, right? 12 points in total. That's perfectly good. Something to be cheerful about, I suppose. And this is good if the Portuguese will be busy. Huh. Uh, let's take a claim on Sevilla. This is the one province we actually need in this war to get from the Spanish. If we can get Sevilla, then we can win. And yeah, our truce is over. I don't need a spy network in Clamancan anymore. I don't think we'll have a better time at striking at the enemy. We have everything in its place. We have an army we have an ally and we have no Portuguese engagement in the conflict uh, this is risky uh, if I fail I'll lose Moroccan support and that will mean GG but who does not risk does not he who does not risk does not take in a victory right so let's declare and let's go ham this might decide uh, the game already our goal is Sevilla this is the province that matters let's call in Morocco let's get tax money and uh, let's see if it actually holds to anything at all and let's stay in those goddamn mountains uh, I'm not going to lose uh, Ah, well, damn it, my fleet. I'm not going to lose my uh, nobility support at this stage. 
So let's stick around, take that which matters, uh, let them uh, die here in the mountains, uh, build our spy network. Jesus damn it. Uh, let's leave that guy and support uh, the Moroccans, they are a little too fast for my taste. Move to Cadiz. Let the Moroccans be controlled by my military and this will be one when my troops arrive that six shock general will turn the tide and Yeah, uh, we didn't lose anything the Castilians lose lost most of the troops So let's just continue slamming There's a lot we need to kill and we need to kill it fast if we want to succeed uh, this these guys are pretty damn vulnerable and will yeah, well 1k guys is nice to have uh, I don't think we're going to stay in La Mancha for long But it is a gold producing province. So if we manage to take it from the Spanish and occupy it uh, Whoa, that was fast all the better. I Think you could move to Jeanne actually uh, yeah. And yeah, well, the Moroccans are definitely land hungry. And they are grabs. Okay, so if you can siege uh, Toledo, it would be brilliant, but uh, not really. Uh, I don't think that we can afford it right now. We need to get back into those damn mountains where it's. Uh, safe to travel now this is going to be uh, oh thank you thank you kindly uh, if you can get back what the hell are you doing move here uh, Moroccans if they stay in Mercia and lose uh, this might mean we are going to lose this conflict but now it was only a matter of uh, moving them away from our uh, enemy right nice uh, well, that's a big war on uh, Castilian side, and we have reinforcements from Slamenkin, I see, and Tunisians. Hello, boys. Uh, glad you're here. Glad you're here, and glad you're uh, with us. And yeah, we are going to strike at 6k uh, Navarran troops, and they will disappear like in a puff of smoke and uh, what's this uh, okay we can't let the Amirs get influence yeah we can actually get uh, we don't have Dimi in our state really yeah fuck Dimi Jesus uh, that gets Ulima Ulema, excuse me, and uh, this sucks, but uh, we'll figure something out. Meanwhile, we have a huge battle happening in here. And uh, let's hope that our cavalry numbers will allow us to win it shock damage wise. And uh, yeah, yeah, actually, we are dealing tremendous shock damage, although that Castilian morale is superior. I think that we should win it after all. And lo and behold, uh, they lost twice the troops, but I think we will uh, win it eventually. We just need to get back and take uh, Sevilla for ourselves. I hope that the Tunisians and the Tlemeni, the Tlemenki, or uh, however I should pronounce it, will help us in that regard. Uh, now, uh, since this is the decisive conflict, uh, we should not be afraid to take loans, and a lot of them, if it's necessary, and get additional charge cavalry. We need those in reinforced units, really we do. Uh, let's hope the Aragonese do not decide to hit us where it hurts. Uh, wait a little more. And yeah, uh, let's move to our cute mountains and let the Tlemenki fight the Castilians. After all, this is uh, according to our... Oh, oh, 
damn it, uh, the stupid Moroccans take this uh, as their own. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? We need to control this province. Yeah, now uh, we don't want the uh, Tlamenki to control Sevilla. So we'll need to, uh, yeah, get over that problem. An interesting war, definitely. Uh, I don't like the fact that the Moroccans are going their own uh, merry way. Uh, left, right and centre. And... Uh, okay, this this is okay, I suppose. This is uh, the right kind of thing to do. Uh, ha, we control uh, Murcia. We can move to Cadiz just as fine. And uh, let's hope that the Tlemenki don't take Sevilla, because if they do, we'll have to take it back, right? And it might be a rather unpleasant and bloody conflict. What are we paying for that much? Uh, yeah, I think we can't afford you, good sir. I think they are moving into our occupied territory. Uh, God damn it, Moroccans, move your ass where you should be, and that is uh, my territory. Because seriously, you are not impressing anyone, quite the contrary, you are just being really damn stupid. Let's hope that they, uh, would you mind taking Sevilla instead, like, really, or not? Uh, okay, you should die, and this is possibly a stack wipe. And this is a stack wipe, so we are looking fine. I think we uh, should be good. The Spanish, I think, have made a grave mistake in attacking Clemencan, and my god, this shock value. Ooh, this is just amazing. It's beautiful to watch the fact that we can, in fact, uh, stack wipe Castilian forces with the superior morale. Ah, this is poetry. And we'll be in Sevilla first so we can occupy it. And, uh, yeah, I... Oh, thank you, Aragon. This is getting better and better. I think uh, that we might just have reached that run which we needed to get successful. Now, only time will tell whether I'm right. But I think I am, in fact, right. And that everything uh, tells me that. Uh, of course, the Aragonese might only help us by attacking uh, the Castilians. Uh, of course, we'll have to fight the Aragonese eventually, but that is a perspective of time, which I can accept. And let's take Mercia. We need to take Jean to complete the mission, actually. Uh, uh fleet... Uh, why am I paying so much for army maintenance? Reinforcements. Okay. Well, I can... I can respect that. I can respect that, and that is, in fact, the necessity. Let's take La Mancha and see how it influences the situation. We have a shitload of loans. I know it, but they are all worth it. In this conflict, there is no middle ground, ladies and gentlemen. If we can succeed, we will get the, the sweet spot. We will honestly get the sweet spot that we require in order to win this conflict. I can only uh, wait for the Aragonese to end the little war. And this general is really amazing, and he has proven himself to us in a big degree. Capable of uh, stopping our enemies, right? Uh, yeah, I think this is over. Uh, 20 trust. Now, what do the Moroccans want themselves? They want uh, Sevilla. Well, uh, it might be a difficult choice, but I think I can give Cadiz and Mercia to uh, the Spanish, actually. Excuse me, to the Moroccans. 
Now, why would I do that? Uh, I need an ally. Uh, really? But wh why not? Uh, which province do you want? You want a Cadiz, right? You want Mercia. Why... Uh, I can't give you Sevilla if you think that I'm going to give you the one province that really matters here. Uh, then you are woefully mistaken, good sir. I really am at a loss as to why would... Uh, This Spanish opinion mattered to me in the slightest. That we'll have to see. Now, the problem is that... Well, actually, uh, seeing how situation develops, I could say that I don't really care about... Uh, excuse me, the Moroccans. And that I become best buddies with uh, Tunisians. Uh, that is an option. And quite frankly, I think that uh, we could get it done. And just screw Moroccans over. In that regard, Cadiz and Murcia should actually be taken by us. As they are worth every penny of it. Uh, I think that means that we have made a mistake in sieging this province. It would be nice to give it back to the Casti uh, to the Castilians. That's all in good time, right? Okay, let's see how the fight is going to end. Uh, this is looking beneficial. Uh, the good thing is that we control uh, province sieges, so even if Morocco decides to leave this conflict early, uh, it won't break our alliance, because I think that's actually the best deal we're going to get here. Uh, we could... Yeah, this is actually what we're going to do. We're going to wait for the Moroccans to peace out separately. And... Take... Uh, Sevilla for ourselves. This is interesting. Hawk. Uh, how's Hawk? With a really good king. And no heir. Interesting. Uh, surprising development. One that we did not expect. An army career. Uh huh. Well, we're going to get uh, army tradition, get some loyal emirs and disloyal uh, burghers. Uh, influence is non-existent while these guys have a lot to say. Uh, yeah, let's seek support of the clergy. Let's get an inquisitor advisor and get that sweet hundred admin because we will need admin. Oh, damn it, pirates hit us hard. And yeah, actually, we will wait for the Moroccans to separately peace out. And basically, we defeated Spain uh, in a war. Because that's how things are right now. We defeated Spain fair and square. We don't really need even to garrison this. Uh, Spain is defeated, ladies and gentlemen. And they have been defeated by... Uh, timing. All in all, this is all simply uh, well-timed war. Nothing, no secret here. The only reason why we've won is because we timed it well. They attacked uh, the wrong target. We were able to beat them back. So yeah, we need to wait a little while longer. While it is expensive. 
Uh, right, do they even have troops right now? Uh, they have 6,000, but we have Moroccan support, so we can uh, reduce army maintenance. Uh, yeah, okay. We don't need it because it's under Amir control, so okay. We, we can deal with that. So quite frankly, this is the best kind of an outcome we can hope for. Uh, let's just hope the Aragonese decide not to take Jean. We just need to be patient with the peace deal now, ladies and gentlemen. This is all there is to it. Uh, mystic uh, yeah, mysticism all the way. We want to go a highly mystical. Go for that, sweet, sweet, for defense, missionary strength, manpower, etc. And the Spanish will pay us a lot for this peace deal. There's a big peace deal coming our way. Okay, are you devastated? Yeah, you are still very devastated and you will need to wait with that devastation. So, yeah, uh, huh. Are they, uh, yeah, they are a separate realm, so we can peace out Navarra separately. Get them to pay us a lot of money. Uh, give us war reps. And transfer trade power, I mean, why the hell not, right? We could have gotten them as a vassal, but I don't want to get a vassal in north on the way of Fran French expansion. Perhaps it was a mistake, perhaps I could have gotten a vassal. Uh, we'll never know. So Navarra is uh, out of the conflict. This looks beautiful on Moroccan side. And that should keep us going just a little while longer, casualty-wise. So yeah. I think they are going to be annexed, and uh, god damn, it's a call for peace. Ah, uh, shit. The fact that we have to betray them, and we can get only two of that out of it, and we can't get Jean. Uh, and the more money we get, the more Moroccans are going to get out of it. It kinda sucks, but only kinda. Uh, Let's see uh, how it develops. Now, uh, we did win this war, so that's good, and we are going to increase our stability tech. We'll have to wait a little more, unfortunately. Uh, the moment we call this, what state is it? It's Toledo. So it's La Mancha Murcia, uh, Cuenca and Toledo, and Let's see, this is a uh, damn rich land. But this has a gold mine, right? So, uh, we have a coalition on our hand. Yeah, we have a coalition if we get to Ledo. We don't have a coalition if we take uh, La Mancha. So, this is our limit. Cash wise. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, this could be nice. Uh,. Morocco as the ri Tunis as the rival, not really. So uh, we take this, we completely fuck over Morocco, which will make them our enemy. Hmm. We take as much money as humanly possible, get war reps, and get ready for a long and difficult campaign. And. Perhaps this is uh, going to be useful as well. We'll see. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the best kind of a peace deal we can get right now. It's very unfortunate that we have to betray our allies. They have been quite useful indeed. They actually won the war for us. And I think the Tunisians won't be able to do that. Uh, but they don't want uh, any of these. And... I really can't afford, uh, let's just see again, I just don't want it. And I can't afford to give them something that is uh, so invaluable to me as an asset. So we get three provinces, war reps, a bag of gold, and that's it I suppose. And sorry Morocco, but you got, uh, well, you got stoned in this I think. 
I don't know what we are doing with those heretics pass. Oh well. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, we are uh, getting these people nice and uh, cozy. And uh, let's get an alliance with Tunisia immediately, okay? Because we need an ally. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, an alliance with Tunisia, nice. Uh, you go, man. Uh huh. I'm pretty, pretty about that nation with Jean, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We won the first important victory against uh, Castile. Uh, in this case, the victory came from the fact that Castilians have entered a ridiculous war with Tlamencan and Tunisia, which weakened them to the point where we were able to attack them with impunity. Uh, uh, surprisingly enough, the Moroccans did not break uh, the agreement, the, the peace deal yet. Excuse me, the alliance yet, but I suppose it's going to happen any moment now. Uh, but sometimes that's the price. We have uh, more than doubled in development, I think. Yes, it's six. Oh, it was 27. Yeah, it more than doubled because it was 27. Now it's 67. Uh, 65, excuse me. Uh, we have a lot of loans to pay. Like three loans left. No, that's not that bad. Uh, we're set. Uh, we're going to dominate trade now. We are going to uh, deal it. Deal with it. Uh, the first war is over. This was the difficult part. The most difficult part. There will be more difficult parts yet to see. Excuse me, I'm rambling because I'm so happy we've managed to do it. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, the beginning of Reconquista is really, really random. There's chaos everywhere and uh, you actually have to adapt to situation on the fly instead of trying to give the events your own uh, role. So that's the problem. Anyway, thank you for your time. If you enjoyed the show, like, share, subscribe and comment, please. I uh, really enjoy reading any suggestions and comments as they show me that you are indeed interested in what I'm doing. Uh, we'll be returning to uh, Spain or Iberia soon enough where we'll be continuing the series. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, gaming Token out. Bye-bye. Uh,